everyone! Today I want to share a handful of really simple Scandinavian style Christmas DIYs. I know at the time of publishing this video, Christmas is fast approaching, so I picked DIYs that are super easy and that can be done in a very small amount of time. They could also be a great activity to do with kids. Up first, we've got this tiny star wall hanging. This dainty wall hanging can be made with just a few materials and comes together really quickly. The stars can be made basically as big or as small as you like. All you need is some twine, a branch or a stick, fishing line or white thread, and you can make the stars out of paper, white polymer clay, or even salt dough. The author of this tutorial is Melissa from the blog Lulu the Baker, and she also included this tutorial in her book, which is called Scandinavian Gatherings, which I highly recommend. It's a book that includes a bunch of Scandinavian-inspired recipes and crafts that you should definitely check out. I've linked it in the description and you can find it on Amazon. Next is this super simple but really nice rosemary Christmas star. You've probably seen this on Pinterest before, but the original tutorial is actually from Martha Stewart. All you need is a glue gun, some popsicle sticks, and some rosemary sprigs, and you can make your very own fragrant Christmas star. Number three is this Scandinavian plywood Christmas sign. This DIY also requires minimal materials and is really easy to make. All you need is a piece of plywood, a printer to print out the message you want on your sign, and some white paint. This particular sign says which means Merry Christmas in Danish, but of course you could write whatever message you like. This tutorial can be found over at Anna Bode. Try making your own gift tags this year with these Scandi style printable gift tags that I designed. Once you have the files, all you need to do is print them, cut them out, and hang them with some twine. You can download them for free over on my website. I've left a link for you in the description. While we're on the topic of wrapping gifts, this dainty little twig star craft could be a really cute addition to your presents this year. Wrap your gifts in brown packing paper, add some twine and fresh greenery, and attach your cute little twig star. This tutorial can be found at Farmhouse on Boone. If you love the star theme, you could actually take this one step further and make a big star with actual branches instead of twigs. Then you just wrap it with string lights and you're done. If it's table decorations you're after, then try making these gorgeous, super easy festive napkins. I found this idea over on a Swedish blog called Vintage House. All you need are linen or cotton napkins, twine, greenery, and cinnamon sticks. I love the look of this pared down half wreath from Francois et moi. I love how minimal and fresh it looks. Just be really careful if you'd make this with a real candle. Don't leave it unattended. You could also just swap out the real candle for a faux flame candle. For this incredibly simple Scandinavian style Christmas DIY, you literally need two items, transparent Christmas balls and fresh greenery. There is a tutorial available for this from a blogger named Mary Hessel, but it's in Dutch. Although I think that this is pretty straightforward. You just grab some greenery and put it in some clear plastic bubbles. This tutorial from the Mary Thought is so simple, but so, so cute. All you need are these little brass jewelry connectors. I've linked them down in the description for you if you want to get them. And then you just need some white cotton thread, or again, you can use twine, and you just tie a little loop around each one, and there you go, you've got your geometric Christmas tree ornaments. This last one here is probably one of my favorites. I love how simple it is, but how striking it looks. All you need to do for this one is grab some winter greenery, put the greenery in clear glass bottles, fill with water, and then pop a candle in the bottle opening. That's it. This really pretty inspiration image comes from an Austrian blog called Traumzuhaus. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. If you want links to any of these DIY tutorials, I've included them all in a blog post which I've linked in the description. I hope you enjoyed this quick video and that maybe it inspired you to fit in some last minute Christmas crafting as well. Merry Christmas! Bye!